Logan YouTubers, all with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our second consecutive SpongeBob comics video. All right, uh, for Sp uh, all with SpongeBob 101 101's uh, summer comics week. All right, for 2014. So yeah, now we have like two comic weeks in one year. So all right, anyways, um, the previous video we reviewed Spongebob Comics number 33 and in this video we're going to review the second ever um, Super Giant Swimtacular Annual. Alright, so this is issue number two of that. If you are interested in uh, the annual number one, make sure you go check out our video we made in uh, June or July last year. Um, we have it in the Spongebob Comics playlist, which I should put in the description box below. Alright, so um, this, unlike the usual comics, had 48 pages, and um, this costs $4.99. Um, well, in terms of quantity, uh, I, I don't think $4.99 is a really good deal because, specifically because, 32 pages, like, like you pay like $2.99 for 32 pages. And here you pay f uh, for 16 more pages. Uh, you pay two dollars more for 16 more pages. So yeah, nonetheless, um, it's an animal. So here's a good look at that cover. Really reminds me of uh, the SpongeBob movie that's coming up next year. So um, we're gonna try to make this video within 16 or 15 minutes. So it says animal size super giant swimtacular. There is a table of contents. You guys can pause there. This was printed in Beaufort, Quebec, Canada, on. Uh, June twenty second. Oh no! Oh, sorry, June second. Excuse me. So the comic book. This is the first story here, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, this comic shop here feature is Comics Reef, I, I presume. So he thinks that there is a new SpongeBob, no, a new Mermaid Man comic. All right. So uh, he assumes that the. Uh, um. Glass is actually a force field and whatnot. So Squidward sees it. And he buys it. And Super Bubble Sponge is here to stop your dastardly deeds. Okay. Oops. Excuse me. I skipped the page. So he starts blowing bubbles at Squidward. And he Squidward smacks the comic book in SpongeBob's face. The comic book is free now. Th this word "free" here actually has two mini two meanings. Uh, one, it's specifically free from the villain. Number two, the cost is free. Yeah, it's really creative to get these. Um, I must say that this is one of the more interesting and uh, creative issues of SpongeBob comics we've had in 2014. So last month's issue. Last month's issue issue was awesome. So, yeah. And um, the good thing about this is that they actually have like uh, really cool advertisements. Um, like this 35, no, 350,000 piece plankton set. Only 198. Wow, that's pretty cheap. Shipped straight to you in a heavy duty drum barrel. So here's what you get. You can, you can pause there and read that if you want. Enlarged to exaggerate size. Um, yeah, by Robert Lathan and Mark Martin. So, hey kids. <laughs> have you ever wanted to know how the Civil War would have turned out if it had been fought by microscopic organisms of the deep? So now you can. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't actually see the coupon though. Cut and send this coupon. You must be completely satisfied in order to re avoid hefty return chargers. So, that's the first ad. Now, let's take a look at the next, uh... Storyline here, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, um, Cowboy, The Challenge of the Wrestler. So basically, um, spoiler, before you even reach it, um, Barnacle Boy switches bodies with the seahorses riding on right here, as seen from this, Kaboom. Unexpected side effects and uh, yeah. 
So he's trapped in his, his seahorse's body. And Mermaid Man totally doesn't get that. Basically, uh, Barnacle Boy saves uh, the day in this um, story. And we're going to see how in maybe a few pages. So, yeah, it's starting from this page. So, that night... Sinister figure spies on our heroes came from across the valley. It's the wrestler. Dun, 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 dun. So, um, well, yeah. Wait, mermaid man up. So, um, he actually tries to save the day by chasing after that train. Which, um, it's kind of weird because, you know, you have a propeller at the back of the train. Which is, like, uh, again, quite weird because, you know, the engine is supposed to propel a train. So, see that seahorse jumping onto the train. I've never heard of a seahorse that wants to wrestle itself. So, smashes into the water tower. But the thing is, uh, of course, I'm not sure why there's a water tower here on, underwater. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, how can there be fire underwater? You know, in a, a Life of Crime episode. Yeah. Those were really, really cool. Oh yeah, and uh, I think the noise from the construction in the background is a little bit annoying. I think it's pretty loud in the video, so um, from uh, this video on, I guess I'm going to be using uh, background music a little bit more. Um, however, I'm not too sure what kind of background music to use, so oh well, we'll see. Um, because, you know, I, I want to block out that construction noise. As I, um, and if you're wondering why there's construction noise, um, I did mention in a few previous videos that, uh, they're constructing a lift around here. A lifts. Plenty of lifts. Right, elevators. So. The coolest collection in town. The sign up for the new bucket of water of the month club. So every month you'll receive a bucket of water from places like these and many more. Look, Dad, it's a Bay of Fundy. Well, I bet. Order now. Fact sheet. Description wet. Yeah, I mean like, it's water, come on. Yeah, okay. So, convenient heroes. So, um, basically this takes place in a convenience store. So, yeah, I don't mind the construction noise in the background. Basically, what they're trying to do here is uh, become superheroes in a convenience store. So, chopping up all the, the hot dogs. There you go, half the hot dogs means half the price. <laughs> they're ruined. Okay.
snaps the lever and uh yeah it start uh the gulpy starts uh flowing out. Ah, uh, it's got me. So what are we gonna do and you find an off switch while I free him from its clutches. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, I think I just hit the, hit the extra sh syrupy switch. What now? I don't know. I mean, like, in the first place, how can it produce that much of galpy? I mean, yeah, it doesn't even make sense, but oh well. Where are we? Doom, doom, that's it. So he re remembers that uh, comic. Um, and, uh,. Yeah. He uses it to uh, pluck the machine. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be standing so close. And it blows up, basically. Back to normal, back to normal. You call this back to normal. You just tried my entire store. Wow. Well, at least they didn't get sued for it or anything. <laughs> Your explosion just created the most epic gulpy I ever had. So, you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, Dynamic 2 to the rescue. So the third ad here is Comics Bargain Bonanza. Complete your collection of these thrilling educational comics. The more you buy, the more you own. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious, right? The more you buy, you, the more you do own. Your collection still contains embarrassing gifts. As long as you are missing all the thrilling and education and comics through me, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and my trusty oh uh, yeah yeah, and my trusty sidekick Mer Barnacle Boy. So um yeah, thrill to the ed education packed in ev every issue. Wow, isn't education a thrill? Wait uh wait till your friends see the education on each and every page in this. Thrilling educational comics, produced in cooperation with some of our most thrilling educational corporate sponsors. Wow. The covers say free, but the comics are priceless. Order now, supplies are unlimited. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh yeah, and you guys gotta see, take a look at this, alright. Mar Murray Man and Barnacle Boy and Let's Each Mar... Eat margarine, how to read a food label. Wow. Postage stamp mania. Yeah, gotta be kidding me. Okay, so next one is called The Squishy Night by Jane Lander. And um, basically, so. Lunchtime and bikini bottom. And um, so now I think I'm going to go faster again. So good riddance to him, the cheapskate. The squishy knight. May you may now adore me. Wow. I'm your biggest fan and I've never even heard of you before. Okay, so Diving Bell. Um as big as Texas. So yeah, I mean I think you guys can actually like guess what's gonna happen next. Yeah, you probably did. Will Hunter, Miss Explode, Lobstar, Double Dude, and Fish Fish. Half fish, half another kind of fish. <laughs> yeah. So I want to hear the clarinet call too. I shall become a pet. Good idea. So. You guessed it, I'm really. Molly, multi purpose sponge. The hero with a different costume. In every panel, so who would have thought we were all secretly superheroes? And you know what's even more amazing? I've never heard of any of us. Fear not, 
For after the day, evil shall long tremble at the sound of our collective name, the Squishy Knight and his lead lesser knights of justice. Let's move out. Hey, how come he gets to name us? So, he can be intolerable. And Patrick says, Gah. Even Gary is a superhero. <laughs> okay, so fools. Um, perhaps you first, perhaps, but you first you have to get past critical squad, the critical scores, super bubble bass, and your mom. No, intrepidive dance is stupid. You'll never amount to anything. Wow, my secret weakness. So yeah. Okay, now like, but you have to for your country. No. Okay, no, this is really, really cute. If you actually imagine him saying that for the chilled one or <laughs> something, then he said no. Because I'm running out of costumes? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, kids, do not do this, please. And... Okay, I'm back again. Knights of Justice Charge! And where's Patrick? Yeah. Why didn't he get to name us? <laughs> so, behold the super greatest superhero team that never was. And, uh... Seriously, I wanna know how come he gets to pick. Lighten up, moron. I got a lot of good ideas. Nobody ever listens to me. Dude, calm down. Holy fish face. Elect electric eel just smacked that ping idiot. Hero fight. And yeah, so. I want to call us the really nice guys who help people. Like, like look at this, man. The irony. Irony. Okay. The real menace is above. No kidding. Does any doesn't anyone want to punch me? Right. No. That's a Squidward, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So SpongeBob invites Squidward over to a sleepover, but Squidward uh, declines, and he just really wants to read his comics. The end. Well, okay. I think this video is gonna be twenty minutes, so um, yeah. I'm just gonna look through this quickly. So, um, yeah, now I shall destroy si all the civilized planktons by Paul Karasik and R. Sikorek. So, I apologize if I pr pronounced that wrongly. Okay, so. And. Yeah. Guess not. Duster, the Wizard Supreme. So, um, I mean, I, I guess you can actually get the uh, idea here. Uh, all the punishments uh, don't really work out. So he turns them into steel. I get it, I get it, ironic. This is torture forever. Or. And uh, yeah, Death Star brings Plankton back. So wait, don't go. <laughs> and uh. Plankton will be tortured for all eternity just by being Plankton. Yay, Death Star. Guess he must be out to fight more evil doers. Guess not. <laughs> okay, so next issue, Ride Em Horsey Pants, SpongeBob Comics number 34. Plus, the next part of the showdown at the Shady Shows is up next here on Ultimate SpongeBob 101. In the back, we have a really cool piece of art here. 
SpongeBob's room with the bucket of water, the uh, uh, yeah, the buckets of water, comic books, um, a lot of Mermaid Man merchandise. You even have the male people outside of his house. Very cool. So credits. All right, so it's 20 minutes, and that is really long indeed. So um, apologize for the really long video. I'll definitely try to make issue 34 a shorter one. So um, hopefully we can fit it within the uh, time frame that we've uh, we have set the, uh, plan for. Yeah. All right. So that's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Thank you for watching our SpongeBob Comics Animal Number Two video. And um, yeah, make sure to keep it right here on Ultimate SpongeBob 101. The next video is going to be SpongeBob Comics number 34. We'll see you guys then. See you later.